Hey everybody, this is Steve with Adventure Outdoors. The other day I had an occasion I needed to go to a little town outside of Charlotte called Locust, North Carolina. And on my trip on 200 North, I crossed the Rocky River. Well, the Rocky River was running about six foot on this particular day. So I thought, you know, there's a lot of kayakers and canoers that like to run the Rocky River. So why don't I drone the river at about six foot so people can kind of get an idea if they want to run the Rocky River. So at six foot, obviously the river's quite muddy. The It's called Rocky River for a reason and you can see some of those rocks in the river right there but at six foot the water's running very fast. All the rocks are pretty much covered on a normal you know on, on normally the river is uh, is a very shallow river it's very scrapey if you want to run it in a kayak or canoe so sometimes uh, uh, it's best to wait a couple days after a rain to run this river it's a lot of fun then but during the course of shooting this video I had something very unusual happen I parked on the side of the road and the river is about probably seven, eight hundred feet away from me. So I'm completely navigating the drone using the screen of my iPhone to navigate and see where I'm going and what I'm filming. Well, during the course of the filming, I started seeing these flashes appear on my screen and if you've flown a drone before and you're navigating through your, your screen you see these little flashes you know it's most likely birds so as I was flying I noticed more and more of these little flashes so at this point in time I can't see the drone but I knew where the drone was so I looked up and when I looked up I saw a swarm of probably 50 or more birds in a tight ball right where my drone was. I thought, oh my gosh. The adventure wifey was with me and I told, I, I turned to her and I told her when I saw what was happening, these birds were just absolutely swarming the drone. I, I told her, I said, I'm probably not going to get the drone back because there were so many of them. I just felt like these birds were, one of them eventually would have the nerve to actually attack it and I would just watch on the screen as my drone tumbled into the Rocky River. I don't know what kind of birds these were. I was thinking maybe starlings or purple martins. Um, whatever they were, they were extremely pissed that this little drone was invading their airspace. So the first thing I did is I, I dropped it. I dropped the uh, altitude of the drone to see if that did anything. And I just watched the swarm of birds follow it down. So at this point in time, you know, I'm still going like, all right, that didn't help. Uh, I'm getting ready to lose this thing. I hit the return to home button. I have my return to home setting for the drone at 150 feet. So you can see right here the drone is going back up to 150 foot it's getting ready to come back towards me and I watched the swarm rise with the drone back up to 150 so here it is it's heading back to me and they're still following and I'm going like give me a freaking break you know and you can see right here uh, they're still following there's gonna be a flash of a bird show right there he is they just will not leave it alone so as I got closer and closer they kind of backed off and it was about right here I realized that the drone is safe from the birds now but man I have never seen anything like this they these were some pissed off birds okay there you go the Rocky River at six foot and also how to almost lose a drone Hey, I'm Steve. I appreciate you watching. I will see you again soon in the next video.